Today we're talking about the most effective firearm of all time. This episode shout out goes to Big Mike's Little Donuts outside of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Grunt has had a love affair with the 12-gauge shotgun since World War I, where it was standard issue, as well as World War II and Korea. Then in Vietnam, they tried to quit making it standard issue because it wasn't lethal enough, at which point it became a standard practice for most grunts to actually bring their own personal shotguns from home and use that instead. Because, well, when the bushes start talking, you might as well hit all the bushes at once. If you don't know what I mean by that, I'll explain. Shotguns don't shoot bullets, they shoot shells. There's a lot of different types of shells, but today we're talking about double up buckshot, which is this right here. It's basically nine ball bearings that when fired, they go fucking everywhere. It's like having nine guys with muskets fire in a general direction all at once. As you can imagine, having a ball bearing cannon would be extremely effective in close quarters. That is why they were originally issued in World War I, because World War I was primarily fought inside of trenches, which was an extremely narrow pathway in the ground. Now, World War I was also extremely brutal because it was the first time the bad guys has ever brought things like flamethrowers and mustard gas to the world stage. Now, it's also worth mentioning that World War I started in 1914, but America didn't officially get involved until 1917. Because, well, the number one seed in the tournament bracket it always gets a buy the first round. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Winchester Model 1897 12-gauge shotgun and its war crime consigliere, the Model 1917 bayonet, which apparently they let fucking Danny Trejo design. Now, this particular shotgun is very special because it's only the second pump-action shotgun ever made, and it did not incorporate a safety feature that is known as a trigger disconnect. Now, a trigger disconnect is what makes it so you have to pull the trigger every time to fire the shotgun. And since this particular shotgun is lacking that, you can just hold the trigger down and every time you pump it, it fires. Fires, meaning that you can fire all six shells in a matter of seconds. Now, if you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm telling you that the United States government gave a bunch of 18-year-old young men that hadn't seen women in months a gun whose only destructive capacity was limited by their ability to do this. Needless to say, it was pretty fucking effective. Now, that is a technique called slam firing, and when you combine the grunts with a gun that can do that, it immediately earned nicknames like the Trench Sweeper, the Trench Broom. This thing un-German engineered so many bad guys that they had to claim it was a war crime to use a shotgun. These were the same bad guys that were using flamethrowers and chemical warfare, so we just kept using them. At that point, the bad guys started a propaganda campaign claiming that the Americans were barbaric and unskilled with a rifle, and that's why they would use such a weapon. After that didn't work, they claimed that if they caught any Americans with a shotgun or shotgun shells, they they would be executed. To which the American government basically responded with, if. Now, just for clarification, it is not and never has been a war crime to use a shotgun. But that is almost exclusively because the side America was on one. If the bad guys had won, they would almost certainly make it a war crime, because it's only a war crime if you lose. In conclusion, if you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an American grunt wielding a war crime stick, he's probably going to have a look in his eye like, I'm here to eat beef jerky and slam fire this shotgun, and if he doesn't have beef jerky, you're probably going to be in trouble. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. We have four new designs that are shirts and stickers, as well as some shirts in women's sizes now available. At this link, if you're not on TikTok, that link is in the video description. So until next time, thanks for your service. Quack bang out.